All right, The Rock's Pirates. When you hear that pirate group name as a One Piece fan, it screams power and overwhelming strength. As that crew, it's an all-star team, let's be honest. It doesn't really make sense. But it's almost like if Luffy teamed up with all the big players of this era, except Blackbeard, to take down... Wait, hold on. That's that's actually not a bad idea. Was Rox onto something? Hmm. Maybe. Okay, not maybe. The Rox crew as presented, it's not what or who we thought they were. Oda is 100% being cheeky with this one. So Rox, I'm sure for killing his lipstick and eyeliner was 100% jealous of this crew's name when he found out. Either way, this is the greatest pirate crew ever assembled. When we look at these individuals, chemistry does come into question as the personalities, it screams dysfunction, but somehow they made it work well enough to accomplish everything they did, right? They were erased from history. But what do we know about this pirate crew? To be quite honest, how Oda typically does things, it's been a slow burn. But even based on that, or based on what we think we know is just one perspective. Stay with me here. You're watching this video, right? And I'm breaking things down down about the story and that's based on my cognitive ability and how I assess things right you happen to watch someone else they may come to a completely different conclusion are either of us wrong not necessarily but it's a different perspective which one can appreciate and one piece is a series that's about perspective but really it's about a lot of things if someone ever tells you that one piece is about one specific thing stop listening to them they're lying one piece has a vast majority of things that it conveys or tries to and it's part of the reason why it's the greatest of all time perspective versus reality in this situation 100 applies okay Rox is painted as the terrible big baddie, but to others he may have been a shining glimmer of hope. Others being cheeky because we know how he is. I'll get into that shortly. But to show you some good faith before revealing too much, interpret this line for me, okay? In Kaido's mini flashback about Big Mom in chapter 1041, Big Mom says this verbatim, is this your first time teaming up with Rox? She then goes on to say not to trust him, that's important, but also the information that this was before God's Valley, that tells a story within itself. I'll get into that as well. Based on that, what does this mean to you? Maybe nothing, or maybe per usual Mr. Brago D. Ace is reading too much into things, but Oda has shown that every single bit of information matters. So in essence, he's a liar, okay? But a good one with good intentions. I've said this before, Oda writes the story as if he doesn't know what's going to happen. A lot of things is rumor, hearsay, and that's just how information travels. So it makes the story and the world, it feels a bit more real. It's alive, okay? But let's put things in perspective. It's time to subscribe, <laughs> all right? We're going to get into rocks, all right? But would you be a solid individual if you let this opportunity pass you by? No. Hit that button and let's move on. First, the confirmed members of the crew. Rox, obviously, Rox D's are back. Edward Newgate, commonly referred to as Whitebeard or Goatbeard or Primebeard as I like to call him. Charlotte Linlin or Big Mom. Kaido Shiki, Captain John, Silverax and Ochoku or Wang Ji. I made a video years ago at this point, documenting how Silver Axe and Wang Ji were more than likely in Thriller Bark, Captain John as well, obviously, but it's interesting stuff, I'll link it below. Either way, this crew was solid at worst. All right, it had Rox who was a D and a demon based on the reports from the world government, but then Whitebeard who would go on to be the strongest man in the world. Big Mom who was already a woman with insane potential as she was slotted to have fleet admiral potential and also, also a 500 million berry bounty as a kid. You know how bad as a goddamn kid you have to be to get a 500 million berry bounty? Nico Robin, she was hella dangerous and, and they gave her 80. Yeah, Big Mom was that type of individual. Shiki, the ambitious hothead who wanted to rule the world period point blank. Garp said himself that Shiki was not a man that would tolerate peace for a long time. The lesser known pirates like John who has some lore about him, okay, we cannot forget about Captain John's treasure with Buggy, but the others we're not really sure about. But it seems to be about power, money, guap, dinero. So what's the point here, Brago? We somewhat knew all this about these guys already. Well, did you know that the Rocks Pirates were formed at Hachinosu? Or the pirate island full of lead, which is currently occupied by the Blackbeard Pirates, but it is also the origin of the Davy Back fight. Yeah, Nico Robin specifically says that in order to get the best sailors, pirates stole pirates from each other. It's a contest for crew members. This could just be a cool thing that Oda threw in to add some lore to Davy Back because a lot of people, you know, view it as filler sometimes, which 
they are crazy. What the hell are they talking about? But I believe it's telling. How the heck did Rox convince these ambitious, arrogant, and forthright people to sail onto his flag? The more likely scenario is that he beat them in various things to gain their fealty, but it was not without incentive. They were going to be even more rich and even more powerful. So for these collection of pirates, why would riches and even infamy and also information be relevant? They could get that on their own, sure, but not at the same rate if they followed Rox. Him already being a D and being so dangerous to have been erased from history, he managed to convince all these individuals the value of working together, which you know, personally, when it's a group project, I don't see the value because there's always some or one person who doesn't do shit, but they get the same grade. I'm sorry, just flashbacks. Anyway, that's what it was like, right? You were coming together to do a group project, right? It wasn't about trust or camaraderie, right? That's not how it works with group projects in school, right? It's just a random group of people coming together to achieve a goal. Big Mom confirmed that, not about school and projects, but she confirmed herself when she stated not to trust Rox. He's a scoundrel, she said, meaning she herself was probably swindled into fealty or misled in some way. But back to these individuals and their personalities. Okay, Oda chose this group of pirates for a reason. They were all searching for something and they needed what Rox could provide. For Big Mom, maybe it was birth control. Either way, for Rox, his intentions are explained to be the king of the world, which is quite lofty goals, but hey, believe in yourself, right? I mean, Buggy at some point, he thought he could be the pirate king. He probably still does, but these people all wanted and needed things. For Whitebeard, we found out that he was supporting an island, Sphinx. And Sphinx, just to remind you guys, these are outcasts who were abandoned due to their inability to pay the world government. And now that I think about it, it's almost like how Odin turned Kuri and Wano from a lawless area to somewhere people can live and be free. So Odin and Whitebeard were truly brothers in different ways. I'm sure they discussed this at some point. Either way, Whitebeard was using his earnings from piracy to support his hometown. So money was something he needed, money and treasure, and even influence to protect the people that he cared about. With Big Mom, we know her appetite and ambition, it could not be controlled, but she was always seeking out information due to how she lost her family. She ate them niggas, but she lost her family, but also her goals were to create, one of her goals at least, was to create this utopia. Rox, with his presumed knowledge and promise of power and money, Big Mom saw this as an opportunity to acquire those things. Again, Big Mom has been shown to try to team up with people in the past. For the Vinsmoke, it didn't end well, but for her, it didn't end well with Loki. What goes around comes around, I guess. Also, something that isn't mentioned as much in the story, which I think makes sense, Big Mom was having kids at this time as well. A lot of kids. In the midst of the Rocks Pirates run, her oldest kids were around 10 years old, Perispero or Compote, so she probably couldn't be as active as she would like to be, but she was still Big Mom, like she was still fearsome, but she was she was having a lot of kids. Shiki, as previously stated, wanted power, and he did not like peace, so he was already trying to team up with Roger, try to team up with Whitebeard, you know, that was kind of his thing. Some would call him the LeBron of back then. I'm, I'm sorry. I, 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 Okay, I take that back. Let's just say James Harden. I like LeBron and the LeBron fans are gonna get in my ass because like, Whoa, what are you talking about? I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, let's move on. So Rox made a lot of sense for him as well. That's just the type of person Shiki was. It wasn't about peace. It was about power, teaming up, and going to Miami. Okay, anyway, this crew was not really about the goals or dreams of the captain, right? They were solely about completing their own goals, agendas, and using each other to do so. And trust was not a major factor in his crew. As I already stated, it is clear. It was about power and treasure. What gets me though is in chapter 957, it's painted as rocks coming together for one big score, like just one big score. Well, how does this make sense based on what we know, which is why I mentioned Oda is being a cheeky brat. Okay, we gotta do some math here. I know we don't love doing math, but let's try to make sense of this, okay? Kaido is currently 59 years old, and he met Big Mom when he was 15, so this is around 44 years ago. God Valley was 38 years ago, so the Rock's Pirates were a thing for at least six years, so why did Sengoku lay it out as if they came together for one big score? It's misleading, as Big Mom was teaming up with Rocks and Kaido back then, but, but, the others aren't as clear with the timeline, right? The other pirates, Shiki, Whitebeard, Wangji, Captain John. Like, honestly, I don't care about Captain John, Wangji, and the other guy because they're just i mean look at the other people they're being compared to or on the same crew with like they don't even matter i apologize to those people that was that was uncalled for but the point is it's hard to say if all these people were together 44 years ago when big mom met kaido but one thing that's for certain this crew was not like any other i believe the rocks crew was a collection of pirates that rocks subjugated through various means not the traditional way meaning loyalty and trust but rather ambitions and promises and davy backs right by god valley he had assembled a powerful enough group he thought he could make a move on the Celestial dragons. The move meaning not trying to date them, but a move to kill them. It's so odd when you think about it because the Celestial Dragons and their slaves were protected by Garp and Roger, which again, it is so odd because Garp hates these people and Roger, well, he's supposed to be a pirate. So then why are you helping the Marines take down pirates? Over the six or seven years of Rock's scores coming together to 
complete different scores. Did he become such a threat that Roger knew if he continued, Roger would not be able to accomplish his dream, meaning sailing back and forth, finding whatever he was looking for? Some people do speculate that Shanks was a kid that was found at God's Valley and Roger took him in, but also, why would Garp protect him while teaming up with a pirate, right? Like, there's so much about Garp that we need to find out. We need something solid because, again, Oda's being cheeky, and his pirate crew was nothing like we view pirate crews today, maybe except for Blackbeards, but even that's somewhat different, as he did rescue these people and he showed them he was worth following by acquiring Whitebeard's fruit, but that's the closest thing we have. And I noticed recently in chapter 957, after the mention of Rox and his full name, right? We then shortly after see Blackbeard with his new bounty. And I'm sure you guys are also already aware of the name of Blackbeard's ship, the Saber of Zebek. So there's a lot more going on here that Oda is still keeping from us, but this pirate crew is not what you think it is. This is a collection of individuals who came together to make money and to gain power and status. That's who the Rox pirates were. Still the greatest pirate crew ever. I think the Straw Hats probably could surpass them if Yamato joins, because Jesus Christ. But either way, the Rox pirates. Do you look at them any differently now? They were all searching for something. Rox saying he preyed upon that is a bit weird, but he could have done that. This was the way they thought it could all come together and achieve things. So such an interesting group. Can't wait to find out more. But guys, you give me your thoughts. What are your thoughts on the Rox crew? Is Oda being cheeky about this stuff? Which is somewhat rhetorical. But yeah, give me your thoughts. Make sure to like the video if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Follow me on Twitter at BragoDAce. Follow me on Instagram at BragoD.Ace. Thank you to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Again, guys, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Yeah. Okay, I start doubting me. I felt lost. I rewrite it.